So since the jinn were before us, and since they inhabited the earth before us, it brings about a question. Did they have messengers and prophets amongst them? Did they have people that were sent to them from amongst them that called them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Now recognize Allah tells us in the Quran, and this is established, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبَعَثَ رَسُولَ that we never punish a people until we send a messenger to them. So that's whether they're human beings or whether they're jinn, we will not punish a people until we send a messenger to them. From consensus, our messengers as human beings were also their messengers. Okay, so the Prophet is a messenger not just to mankind, he's a messenger to the jinn. And Musa alayhi salam, clearly in the verses in Surah Al-Ahqaf and Surah Al-Jinn, Musa alayhi salam was also a messenger to the jinn as well as human beings. And so all of the prophets and all of the messengers from human beings were also messengers to the jinn. And also the Prophet ﷺ is definitely the best of the messengers and he's the last of the messengers. So even if there were to be jinn messengers, none of them would be after the Prophet ﷺ. So that's something that's established. This is consensus. Now, the discussion and the technicalities, are there jinn prophets or messengers that were sent before Adam ﷺ was created or even afterwards so that they could properly learn their religion and so on and so forth? The argument on one side, which is no, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا رِجَالًا We have not sent before you, except for men that we give revelation to, I mean, Ahl al-Qura, from the people of a town. Then that is a proof for some to say that every prophet, every messenger that was sent in the past was a man, human being. Now the response to that, is رِجَالٌ مِنَ الْإِنْسِ يَعُوذُونَ بِرِجَالٍ مِنَ الْجِنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Jinn that there are men from amongst human beings, from amongst mankind that seek refuge in men from amongst the jinn. So Allah has established that from a linguistic perspective there are رِجَال مِنَ الْجِنِ as well. There are men amongst jinn as well. Also, the next ayah that makes this discussion fruitful is when Allah says يَا مَعْشَرَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنْسِ أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ رُسُلٌ مِنْكُمْ O oh, assembly of jinn and man, hasn't there come to you messengers from amongst yourselves? Now, linguistically speaking, ya ma'ashar al jinni wal ins, when Allah says jinn and human beings, then He says, haven't there been messengers amongst you? Linguistically speaking, that means min ahad al jinsain, which means that it could be from either species. So, if Allah just sent messengers from amongst man, it still suffices in this ayah. Then you have another discussion, another ayah which is added where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا وَإِبْرَاهِيمٌ وَجَعَلْنَا فِي ذُرِّيَّتِهِمَا النُّبُوَّةَ وَالْكِتَابِ That we have sent Nuh and Ibrahim and we made from their offspring prophets and books. So obviously the jinn are not from the offspring of Nuh or Ibrahim and Nuh is the first messenger amongst mankind. So then it again, it makes this discussion Sometimes it leans towards one opinion, which is that no, they can't have messengers. Then on the other side, they have evidence as well. The point is that there's really no concrete opinion here as to whether they had rusul in the true sense of the word, messengers and prophets or not. I mean, this discussion is covered in detail by Imam Ibn Kathir rahimahullah, mentioning opinions here and opinions there. And they all pretty much quote the evidences that I've already mentioned here. However, it is established that Allah has sent messengers in the sense of a nudur people that were sent to warn and to teach that did not necessarily have to be prophets of God or messengers of God. That's something that's well established and that's something that Allah mentions for example in Surah Yasin, a group of messengers, the Rusul in Surah Yasin that Allah is talking about are not Rusul, they're not messengers in the sense of theologically being messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rather they were warners and callers to their people. And Allah has definitely sent a nudur amongst them. He sent warners and callers and messengers in that sense. And He continues to do so amongst them because again, it is the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He would not punish any group of people until a messenger reached them, whether they were human beings or even if they were jinn.